it's fascinating the way I got into the field of neurology. Um, m- most people who, who are physicians who, who go into the non-traditional uses and treatments for hyperbaric will have some story. Mine is, is basically my mother. Uh, she had had a stroke, and I'm a neurologist, and, you know, every neurologist will tell you that if you have a stroke, you know, the body does heal on its own to a certain point, and however you basically are six months out after the stroke, that's where you're going to be. So you're going to have to learn to live with it, that whatever residual deficits or impairments you have is going to be what you're going to have to learn to live with. And my mother had had a stroke, and... Um, uh, she went, uh, after the stroke, uh, she had re- residual weakness of her left arm and leg. Uh, she could walk, but she had some major impairment. And I uh, had sent her to, you know, some of the bigger physical therapy uh, facilities in the country. Uh, she went to chiropractic care, uh, uh, cranial sacral manipulation, acupuncture. I sent her every place that I could find, because, of course, I did what, people normally do these days is to get on the internet and they look for how can I treat stroke uh, impairment. And if you go on the internet you see how you're directed towards mainstream medicines, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, etc. And I, I, I did my internet search and I kept going that direction only to have periodically being shot off in a tangent in another direction. And after I exhausted the conventional approach to treating stroke, I said, well, let me look at what these tangents are uh, that they're trying to throw me off to the side. And one was hyperbaric therapy. And I read it and I didn't believe it because I'm a neurologist and I, I know these things don't work. Because uh, I was taught, I, I think I was given a one hour lecture in medical school uh, that they gave me the background of hyperbaric, which was obviously very little. Um, so I called up a facility that was treating patients uh, with hyperbaric therapy for stroke and other uh, non-traditional uses for hyperbaric. And um, I called the gentleman on the phone and I spoke to him and I said, look, uh, does this really work? He's, oh yeah, it definitely works. It works very well. Oh, very well. And I said, well, you can't fool me because I'm a neurologist. I mean, I'll, he says, well, you don't, says, he said to me, I'll tell you what, you come down to my office. On Monday morning, I'm treating two people who can't move the arm and leg for one was five years, the other was eight years. They're wheelchair bound. And you examine them, and then you come back after 20 treatments, and then after 40 treatments, and you tell me, if, based on your examination, if you feel there's any benefit. So I did. I went down, I flew to their facility, and I examined the patients like I do in my office normally. And uh, I have a mental note of each of their impairments, major weakness of arm and leg on both of these gentlemen. Came back after the 20th treatment, and they were moving, both of them were moving their affected arm and leg. Moderate strength came back. Not a lot, but moderate strength came back, but to the point where they could, they could walk with a walker and some assistance. If the 40th treatment, I came back, and they were walking with, one's walking with a cane, one's not walking with any assistance at all. Then I had like a revelation. I said, hold it now. I was impressed at that point up. I think I was impressed by 15 years at that time. And I said, hold on a second, I've been for the last 15 years telling my patient with stroke, go home and live with it after six months because this is the best you're going to be, as I was taught in medical school. And now I'm seeing people five years, eight years out who had direct, definite, unequivocal benefit. I then uh, learned about how to, how to use hyperbaric therapy, how it works. And I opened up my facility, I treated my mother, and she did phenomenal with it. So that's kind of the basics behind that.